Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is session two and uh, we're going to cover where to start. Uh, obviously you've got to start somewhere and it can seem a bit daunting at first but honestly this is this is going to be a breeze. You're going to absolutely find because there's a lot of people who are also looking to make new friends so they're going to absolutely all love you so don't you worry about that. So where can we start? Um, now we all know about social media and Facebook and Twitter and all that but um, you can actually use that to make real friends as well. Honestly um best place to start there would be to just to post something uh, maybe um i don't know some something at the theater you want to go and see uh, somebody like an artist who you want to go and see I just suppose it is anybody interested in going to see this person. So uh, it could be, you know, is anybody interested in going to see Meatloaf? They're on uh, in Leeds on so and so date or whatever. And it, and it is amazing who will um, actually respond to that. Um, some people might just be waiting to, to go to these places and then you come on and ask and absolutely they'll bite, bite your hand off. Um, I've actually arranged a lot of things that way. It really has worked. And first time I used it was to see Maverick Saber. I can't say his name. <laughs> Maverick Saber. Uh, and um, and I and and then I've got a buddy then who I used to go and uh, and see all the um, uh, different artists with, and it, it was fantastic. So it, it it really does work. And you you meet people who actually want to, want to go and see um, different types of music. So you can you, you'll be starting to build up. Um, a team of people around you that you can go and see different things with so absolutely do that um, on on Facebook have a look at groups anything that you're interested in just do a quick search and then uh, when you're on there uh, you might want to respond to a comment you can do this just on your page in general but you, you can respond to a comment and then if people sort of are in agreement you can say should we meet up for a coffee don't don't be um, phased at that and um, if it might be easier if you're on a group page so for instance I'm on the vegan group pages and I just say does anybody want to go out for a bite to eat and then just put where you think and then people come on and say and then and that's how that's how you meet people and then you can come up with other ideas as well um, and people do do like that and they do respond to it so find things that you're interested in um, join those groups there'll be loads of them on Facebook and then just ask them how to say shall we and be the person who arranges it uh, and that and that and that and that usually goes down very very well another thing and this is really work i mean um i we at school <laughs> have loads of school reunions i've got one coming up in about a month um and it's amazing you know you're the people who you actually get on with and you have a really good chat uh, uh, those who probably don't really even remember at school uh, so think about a school reunion um, it can be a bit tricky finding the people but if you just do a quick search then it's, it's amazing you only need to find one or two because it's amazing who knows people and and it's 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 sharp range people usually like to meet up again uh, it doesn't have to be school it could be obviously uni it could be an old place where you've worked anything just suggest a reunion and if you get about three or four people there it's a success you've done it and, and you might want to meet up with those people again so um, think about all the different things like that 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 you can do um, I've actually put down on here a, a few suggestions now uh, one of them is meet up uh, you can get an app for that it's really good and there's loads of things going on in your area so ha have a look at that um, in uh, my area which is in uh, Yorkshire there's loads of social groups and there's loads of social groups for Doncaster for Sheffield for Leeds and all those areas but then there's also different things that you might be interested in so um, for instance, there's um, lots of things that I would be interested in, which is sort of things like Reiki and things like that, the veganism, um, as well as loads of different things going on. Just have, have a look, find out uh, what, what things are on there that really stand out to you. And just join those groups and just go along. They're really good because these are things that you can go on, uh, along to alone. And once you get there, everybody's so dead friendly so that you, you can have a really good natter and, and then you probably make some real friends like that. It really is excellent. It, it really is a good place to start. So do that. I also did... Um, um, a bit of research and all the different apps out there and I found uh, Bumble was quite good I kept getting little updates for that I found that uh, and I found that quite quite all right 
Peanut for single mums, I thought was very, very good. Um, and this Scout, which is for like a friendship group, which, which seemed fine. I loved Meet, Meet My Dog. Fortunately, I have cats. <laughs> but Meet My Dog, I thought was such a good idea because if the people are walking the dogs in, in your area, you can just meet up for a night. How nice would that be? Uh, and then there was Fork Square City Guide, which was, you know, give some ideas of where to go. And then there was Meet Me. And I find Meet Me depended on where you were, um, so the location. So it's probably better in some areas than others. But they're all worth having a look at. I mean, you can do a bit of research yourself and see, see if there's any, any other apps out there that um, that might just help. Um, don't be afraid to advertise. I know they might think, oh no, I can't do that. But why not? Sticking up. When I first came down to Doncaster, uh, and I'd lived away for a lot of years, I, 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 apart from my family, I didn't really know anyone. So I, I put an advert in, um, I think it was, I sat on go, I think it was on a, um, a Doncaster site. And, and I just said, you know, does anybody want to go dancing? And then I, I made a friend of a friend for years. So um, don't be afraid to actually put, put an advert out there and say, look, I like to do this. I like to go to the pub for a drink or I like running or whatever. Just put that on there and and you will get people to answer. And, and they, they usually end up being really good friends. So uh, so that's fine. Don't be afraid to go to places alone. Now, um, a lot of people say, I mean, I've, I've been to places on, on my own. And people say, as a woman, no, you can't. Your men, it's all right for men, but it's not all right for women. Absolutely it is. Listen, go. Um, if people come and talk to you, you end up having an intelligent conversation. You know, if, if women go out on their own and blokes come and talk to you, then you end up having this ridiculous conversation but when for some reason the times I've gone out on my own I've just ended up having a really good intelligent conversation with people and you know as far as safety is concerned I came to the conclusion that you've got to be safe anyway and you're actually safer on your own because you've got your wits about you you know what you're doing and I don't know blokes just seem to um to look at you differently, they, they seem to uh, revere you a little bit more than if you're just out with uh, friends. And um, so, as with anything, that you need to check your safety. So, you know, if you're going to drive, make sure you're parked in a, a well lit area and you, you don't have to walk off on on, on your own too far. Um, but I think that you'll find that that, that works. So, I really wouldn't be. I've been to loads of places on my own. I really wouldn't be phased about it. I just go. Uh, so so do do that. Um, I think uh, men think they can go out on their own anyway. They may feel <clears throat> they may still may feel a little bit self conscious. Don't go out and just talk. You know, if, if you're going out to a bar, just talk to the person, uh, and and just do that, and uh, then you'll end up knowing people. You end up becoming a regular. So that's so that's fine. Um, in fact, we're talking about talking. Just talk to everybody. You know, get used to talking. So uh, if you go for a coffee, talk to the uh, people behind the counter and just say, have you had a busy day? And just just generally do that. Just sound interested in them. Um, if they're really happy, they're really nice people, say, oh, do you know what? It's been a delight coming here today. Whatever, just do that. Just keep keep talking, but always tell the truth. Uh, don't ever flatter because that comes across as mm, not, not very good. So if you go in and, and it's nice, especially sort of like in the soup supermarket, they often work late now. You could say, what time do you finish tonight? You might say 10 o'clock. So, oh, that's late, isn't it? And, and just, you know, empathise. Um, if you just do that and practice uh, doing that, then you, you'll end up just, just being able to talk easier anyway. So, so that's good. And also, don't be afraid to ask friends. Um, say, do you know anybody who would like to go out on the weekend? You know, does anybody like dancing or whatever? Um, just want to go to the pub or, or whatever? And, and it, there may know people who, who would really relish spending some time in your company. So uh, don't, don't be afraid to do those things. And just go for it. Don't hold back. Don't uh, think, oh, if I can do this. If you ask, they all like to go. That's no good. You don't want that. Uh, tie a knot in it. Turn the other direction. Absolutely. You do, you do not want that um, thought pattern listen you are going to make people really good friends people are going to want to be in your company you can be absolute delight and um, all you have to do is meet them and this is and this is how you're going to do it so think positive big smile and just go for it okay if you need to contact me please do it's julie at catchyourfall.co.uk i would love to hear from you i hope you're doing well thanks